Pisces, welcome to your What's Happening in March general reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Pisces. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. So my intentions for this reading, Pisces, is to just ask Spirit what will be happening for you in the month of March during Pisces season. And happy birthday to all my Pisceans who are turning a whole nother year in the month of March. But um, yeah, I'm just going to see what Spirit wants you to know about, what you need to be aware of, and this can impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career finances, spiritual evolution, but whatever Spirit would like to talk about shall be said. So let's go ahead and begin your reading. I'm first going to use my sample here to clear set the energy and do a mini meditation with you guys, but if you just want to jump right on in to the card poll, go ahead and check the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you with me now, thank you so much for joining me here. So I am going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in, and I'm going to ring the sound bowl three times, and I just want you to open up your energy to ask any questions you have. And if you would like to welcome any beings of the light into this space, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even pass down loved ones, you are welcome to ask them to join us here now. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and see what is going on for you guys in the month of March. What is happening? What does Spirit want you to be aware of, know about at this time? So let's first check out the two general themes for you guys this month. So Spirit, what is one of the themes for Pisces this month of March? Tell me about March for Pisces. Let's see. So first we have Guardian Angel. Wow. Okay, so for those of you guys that were with me during the mini meditation, you may have asked some questions in regards to what is happening for you in regards to timing. I do want you guys to know you have a protective, strong force with you that is a guardian angel. They watch over you. Sometimes I got to say for those who are like, okay, well, where were they in certain areas of my life? I just want to say that sometimes our guardian angels can't always 100% protect us from everything because there are lessons we need to go through for our own growth. But I gotta say in March, your guardian angel is delivering you something or is protecting you in a big way, Pisces, that is going to show itself in March. You're gonna say, thank you for watching over me. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for having my back. Thank you for listening to my prayers, to my intentions, to my manifestations. And your guardian angel wants to make its presence now to you to let you know that they're there. I wonder if some of you guys have been, you know, always wondering if you had that guardian angel, especially when you were like a childhood, like a child, and you may have had like an imaginary friend or just an energy you connected with quite often. And this is the deity or the you know, entity, let's just say, that you were connecting with. So something about your guardian angel is coming through. And if you guys have been seeing particularly, uh, sometimes your guardian angel comes through as red roses for some of you. Seeing those symbols means something in connection to your guardian angel. And also white feathers. And you may be seeing a lot more of those as March goes on. And those are reminders about the connection you have with your guardian angel. But let's get deeper to it. Why is your guardian angel here? What does your guardian angel want you to know about March Pisces? Okay, then we have the B. Number 16, luck, industriousness, and sweet victory. Okay, so B energy is hard working energy. They 
do a lot for their community to thrive, for their queen to thrive. And I got to say, this has to do with whatever you've been putting your effort into in March. You are going to be lucky, successful. You're going to have victory in this area of your life if you stick to it. If you keep going, keep grinding, keep your eyes on the prize Pisces because there's some honey about to come in. If you do all the work, if you take all those steps, God, the spirit, your guardian angel will meet you halfway. But I do feel for what you've been working towards, what you've been trying to dedicate yourself in regards to either bettering your life or to set off on your own or to do something with your career. It is going to be successful in the month of March. Wow, some of you guys are definitely trying to start your own business or trying to do an online business or trying to make an essential part of a project really successful. You are talented. You are dedicated. I feel Capricorn energy for some of you guys. You could have Capricorn moon or Capricorn rising. Of course, it does not have to be the case. But you will be seeing the rewards of your efforts in March. Okay, Pisces? All right, let's see through the tarot. Three events that will be happening for Pisces in March. Three situations, events that are happening for Pisces. In the month of March, first we have the Page of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. I'm not surprised to see that. And then we have the Sun, beautiful energy here, Leo Energy. I mean, wow, some of you guys are going to see this success, this payback, this reward, definitely in the middle of March. Wow. Tell me another situation happening. Guys. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo energy. Love this. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Earth, Capricorn energy. So I do feel for a while this is something, whatever you've been working towards, that you have tried to establish, tried to um, make a firm foundation in your life. And it's been taking some steps. It's been taking some uh, research, some studying, some class, and or just even practicing it every day or taking a little bit of your time each day, an hour to dedicate yourself to this, whatever you're working towards. And I got to say, you have the talent, you have the resources within you at being the queen of pentacles. And I do feel, Pisces, that you hold yourself to a high expectation. You are kind of seeing that whatever this is that you want to achieve in your life is going to take the work but you're ready to do it because you feel as if it's a part of what you're meant to create in this world. It's a part of what you are meant to do in this world, to serve in this world. But, you know, the Queen of Pentacles does not just do something for nothing. And I gotta say, if some of you guys have been wondering if all your work is in vain, no, absolutely not. I feel a lot of you are definitely going to get some sort of big sign that this is working in March here. I wonder if a lot of you guys have been investing in um, skincare, I'm kind of feeling, or uh, trying to change your hair color to something different, spending money on clothes, like almost upgrading your style in a way. And people are noticing and people like the changes you've been making or are about to make physically, if that is a message for a few of you. Wow, so I wanna clarify these and we'll dive a little bit deeper. Tell me more about the page of water here that we see for Pisces. Queen of Wands, yes, love it. Tell me more. I feel like you're getting your fight back, Pisces. It's really nice to see, but not in a way where it's kind of demanding, not in a way where it's kind of, you know, assertive, but in a way that's like a quiet power. I, I'll dive deeper into it. But tell me more about the sun for Pisces. Tell me more about the sun for Pisces. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. Whatever you've done in the past, it's all adding up to the present moment in March when it's happening for you. Some of you guys, March 19th is a significant date or will be. Yeah. Information coming in, messages coming in, confirmations coming in. Yeah, wow. 
There are two sixes here. Your birthday could be March 6th, March 16th, February 26th for some of you guys. Love it. Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the devil here. Sorry, there's nudity in this card. But um, okay, Capricorn energy. There was either a fear within yourself, Pisces, or someone or something trying to steer you off the course, like a temptation or a distraction. And I wonder if some of you guys, if it was the fear within you, it was kind of like procrastinating, delaying, because you didn't know if it was going to succeed, because you were afraid that by venturing out, it was going to embarrass you. It was going to make you feel like a failure in some sense. So that procrastination really kicked in for some time. But March is telling you, Pisces, don't listen to those inner voices. Don't listen to the voices outside of you that try to convince you that you're something that you're not. And I always feel like with you know, devil energy, some sort of karmic energy around you with a certain someone or situation that for this being at the bottom of the deck, you have recently come out of or you are starting to see very clearly taking note of it and fully identifying it. The devil does not like to be exposed. Okay, because once the devil is exposed and you're fully aware of how these fears start to manifest or how much someone's influence or situation has been taking over much more than it should. So I kind of feel like you guys really have been identifying de devil energies in February, in January, maybe even end of December very particularly, and have been doing things to kind of steer course from those devil energies. And let me tell you, even by doing that is setting you on the right path. Absolutely, Pisces. So let's first get with the Page of Water and the Queen of Wands with the Sun in reverse. Wow, okay. Some of you guys, I'm definitely picking up on some inner child healing. I definitely feel as if there has been a hope. There has been some sort of thing you've always wanted to do, maybe for a very long time or maybe since you were a kid, that you just knew was part of you, that you knew was going to be significant in your life. You've been seeing signs of this since you were a child, maybe perhaps. But for the sun in reverse, it didn't, you weren't as excited about it. You weren't as hopeful about it. Maybe because of timing, maybe because of things that failed in the past. But I feel as if this is getting your fight back based off of what didn't happen, what you didn't see the results of. There was a part of you that had to upgrade into Queen of Wands working with the page of water energy. Fire and water is a very... Um, Wow, how do I describe it? Passionate type of combination here. And I do feel that by having this hope again, you are directing it in the best way with the Queen of Wands and the way that's supportive of yourself. I do feel a lot of you guys are giving yourself affirmations or changing your self-talk that in the past was a bit negative and maybe that was learned from your surroundings, your environment, your family maybe, but you are now telling yourself the right words. You're giving yourself the right hype. You are saying, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it well. And that's refueling your sense of self, your sense of worth. Others of you, if this is outside of yourself, it could be some sort of message from a Queen of Wands type of energy, a very flirtatious, charming, energetic, go-getting type of energy that wants to, you know, hang out with you, that wants to work with you. I do feel for some of you guys, this is romantic here, where it couldn't happen before because of immaturity, because of distractions. They're coming back for another opportunity here, and this could also be friendship as well. But for some of you where if this is associated with devil energy, the sun in reverse is saying, you know, maybe this person is coming back just to see if you really are done with the devil energies that you've noticed from this. Especially if they're only back when they want something, especially if they're back when they, for romantic situations, want to hook up, but then, you know, leave just as quickly. Pisces, it's time to kind of do something so this person doesn't keep you leaving high and dry. And maybe for some of you guys, making the choice for yourself with the Page of Cups to do something different for your own well-being and not feeling guilty about that is going to help you get into the sun energy that we see in the middle of the month. And with the sun 
we have the Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So Scorpio energy, Gemini energy as well here. So I do feel you're going to get some sort of message, some sort of conversation that is going to make you very happy, that is going to make you feel like you're on you're doing the right thing, that you're successful at it, that you're good at it, whether that's good reviews, whether that's, you know, some sort of good feedback from your work, from your effort, you are getting traction. And I do think things are going to move a lot quicker. And with the Six of Cups, these are things that you started to do quite some time ago, maybe even six months ago, maybe around June of last year, whatever, you know, that past means to you very particularly. Your good fortune, your happiness, and your success is what you were able to still hold on to, to able still have belief in, or maybe even picking up that belief in the beginning of the month that now spirit is going to fully reveal, fully show the purpose of the weight, the purpose of the timing. I do feel like, you know, with the Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords, yeah, there was something that happened in 2023 that really tried to steer you off track, to steer you off course, to make you not believe in yourself, whether that was, again, your own inner voice or something outside, but you didn't listen to it. You realized that that was just negativity that was holding too much room, holding too much space. But definitely with the sun and the six of cups, you're seeing what you've done and worked for in the past is leading to this happiness, this victory with the sun card in the middle of the month. Then we have the 10 of pentacles with the six of wands and the eight of pentacles. I mean, a lot of you guys may be recognized for your hard work, may be rewarded for your hard work, may be promoted soon, may be getting that pay raise, that bonus, some sort of tax return that is going to help you guys invest. Whatever this work is, whatever this project is, whatever this self-development is, it is going to give you ten of pentacles. I wonder for some of you guys if it's your family finally kind of giving you the credit. Maybe they doubted you at first going on your own or trying this new idea because it was risky. Are you sure you could do it? Here you are shining and your family's finally giving you the credit you deserve. Family, friends, whatever that is. And I feel with Ten of Pentacles energy too, like some of you guys with... Um, if the Queen of Wands energy romance was not the one for you, but a Knight of Swords is coming in that is very clear, very direct, very honest, wanting to make something happen with you, and kind of that's what you've been looking for, Pisces and love and romance, is just someone that will be direct, someone who doesn't sidestep, who doesn't play games. This Knight of Swords just cuts to the chase. And I feel like with that energy, it is potential for a Ten of Pentacles type of vibe. You guys may be in a relationship by the end of the month or moving in together or having something serious and working towards that. But for a lot of you, I do feel this is in regards to your finances, your career, your well-being. Some of you guys with this Ten of Pentacles are finally going to sign a contract for a lease to an apartment, a home. An upgrade in that even with this Ten of Pentacles. And people are noticing. People are like, wow, Pisces really did make it happen. You silenced the non-believers, the haters, the doubters here. And it was all with your hard work, Pisces. This was not given to you easily. Wow, okay. Tell me more about March of what Pisces needs to know about, be aware of. Tell me more. The mystic circle, your abilities will be enhanced. Yeah, like this whole time, Pisces, I've been just feeling upgrade energy, upgrade energy. And it's like your will, your fight upgraded, your finances, your career upgraded. The way you even want to style your home, style yourself, you are now going to have the finances, the means and the resources to have that upgrade here. And some of you guys, I mean, with the Page of Cups, 
what I'm feeling now in combination with this card here is that some of you guys are getting some sort of dream, some sort of sign that is divine confirmation of your intuition, of what you've always been pulled towards, of what your soul has always been kind of feeling was meant for you. Some sign, whatever that is, it's general. You guys know what that sign will be. And like I said, some of it could be, you know, roses, white feathers. Um, even for some of you guys, sunflowers is really big here as well. But yes, Pisces, your life will be enhanced. Your life will be upgraded. And it could start in baby steps. Some of you guys, it's almost like night and day. Okay? And you will see that clearly, definitely, from the middle to March to the end of March. All right, tell me more. It's like in the middle of the month, I feel like you're getting a big yes from the universe. And it's evident with the Ten of Pentacles through your 3D world. It's not just something that's going to stay in the 5D. Okay. What else does Pisces need to know? Angel of Pleasure. Okay. And it says, take pleasure in the things you do. So this is what's really beautiful, too. Whatever this is you're working towards, it's not just something that you're doing to pay the bills. It's something that you feel passionate about, you love doing every day. That's the thing you should be chasing, Pisces. That's the thing that will give you the Ten of Pentacles more than the bare minimum of doing the nine to five, checking in, signing out. But I also kind of feel for some of you, like you're on the grind, you're working hard. I love to see it, but Spirit also wants you to prioritize the pleasures in your life. I do kind of feel like you guys are going to have invites to, you know, go out, to go on dates, to hang out with friends. And some of you may be like, oh, well, I got to get this done. I got to get this busy. Give yourself a little bit of a break, Pisces, during this time. And I think that by balancing work and play, everything is going to flow so much smoother for you. But let's talk about romance real quick because I was definitely feeling that for some of you guys. Man, someone's crazy about you sexually, I feel. I, they love your body. They love the way you smell. They love the way you look at them. They love the way you walk. There's just something that you kind of turn in them that makes them feel a little bit like, <laughs> I don't want to say animalistic, but almost like you get this hunger in them. And I feel like that's going to be very shown to you in March. And you'll know who this is, definitely, by the flirtation, by the need to touch you, I feel. Like, this is the type of person that always has to put, like, an arm around you or um, want to sit on your lap or, like, touch your thigh or your knee or something or along those lines. But, yeah, you're definitely, I feel, going to experience a lot of pleasure this month in March from your birthday from, you know, what people want to send you as regards to, you know, some sort of feedback, some sort of congratulations, some sort of rewards, definitely. Love it. Some of you guys are also trying um, pink Himalayan salt, or that's what spirit, I think, if that's been sending your way, whether that's working with, you know, your magic or working with, you know, foods like pink Himalayan salt, there's something that spirit wants me to guide to it about you that will working with it will help raise your vibrations as well. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and get one more message from your angels, from your spirit guides, your guardian angel in particular, and see what else they want you to know about March. Any last minute advice, any closing messages from my Pisceans? Angel therapy and a message from Archangel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Okay, so Pisces, just generally, if there's going to be a busy month for you, if there's a lot on your plate or if there's a lot you need to do to get to this Ten of Pentacles sun energy and you start to feel overwhelmed, you start to feel stressed, anxious, your angels, your guardian angel in particular, wants you to just take a moment, take a deep breath in, to give your concerns, your worries, your anxieties over to that guardian angel and they will help kind of ease the tension that may be within yourself. Um, they don't want you to be over-worried, over-stressed because that lowers the vibration and that procrastinates a lot of what can come in. So when those feelings of anxiety, of stress, 
come through, which is, you know, what we deal with as humans. Spirit wants you to handle it in a different way, maybe than what you were before with the devil energy. And already by kind of handling it in that different way, by being more positive, by being more focused, by not procrastinating, I think you're going to see these changes rapidly happen. And I'm so excited for you, Pisces, because it looks like an amazing month ahead. Thank you so, so much, Pisces, for joining me for this reading. I really hope it resonated with you. I hope it gave you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance that you're looking for in regards to what's happening in March. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Pisces, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Pisces. <laughs>